Hey, what's going on? My name is RoboDessert, and this is my just chatting scene on Twitch. This is my Be Right Back screen on Twitch. And at first glance, it might look like a pretty normal Be Right Back screen, but pay attention to this window right here. That's me. That's my entire just chatting scene, which you just saw, and it all updates in real time. <laughs> Hey, so some of you might have already seen that other video. In that video, I show you how to make the Be Right Back screen that I just showed you, but that Be Right Back screen only works if you're using OBS, because that Be Right Back screen requires a plugin, which is only available in OBS, that allows you to manipulate sources in 3D. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, that video won't be very much help for you. So now, here's this video here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make something similar in Streamlabs OBS that won't require 3D manipulation. In the end, it'll look something like this. This will capture your camera, chat, and anything else on your Just Chatting scene in real time. This scene will be something fun and interesting that you won't be able to buy in a pre-made overlay pack. Here we go. Now for my scene, I chose to go with something from Animal Crossing, but you can use any game or video that has a screen in it. You just wanna make sure that you can face the screen as head on as possible because you won't be able to manipulate it in 3D later. You also wanna make sure that there's nothing in front of the screen that you're going to be using. If you also chose to go with Animal Crossing, just hop on over to Harv's Island in the game to set up your scene easily. You can access Harv's Island through the airport just like you would go to a Nook Miles Island. And once you're there, you can use any furniture that you've collected to set up your scene. You can even use one of your villagers if you wanted to, so if you wanted a cute animal in place of yourself, you could just pop one of them in and your scene is good to go. The easiest way to capture this game footage is to just record directly from Streamlabs. This will record the video directly to your computer so you don't have to waste time transferring files later. Just set up your capture card and then hit record instead of go live to save the video to your computer. From here, we're going to take this footage and upload it into some video editing software, which will allow us to do a few useful things with it. First, we're going to cut and edit our capture so that the video loops seamlessly. This will give your viewers a smoother experience when they're on this scene. Then we're going to add either black video or a black image over the screen that we'll be using. This will make it easier to layer our scene over the video since we won't have any of the in-game screen shining behind it. If you're using Adobe Premiere, an easy way to do this is to go into your media bin, right click and go to add black video. You can then add this to your timeline and crop and size it so it covers the screen. From here, you can also add in things like be right back text or any other graphics that you might want in the video. You can add these in Streamlabs as well, but if you do it in the video editing software, it will allow you to have a little bit more customization and get something a little bit fancier. Lastly, we're gonna use the software to export the video as a .mp4 file. When you first export the video from Streamlabs to your computer, it saves as a .move file, but funnily enough, Streamlabs doesn't play very well with move files when you add them back as media sources. I had some trouble on my end using a move file as a media source in Streamlabs where the video wouldn't start or it would stop playback halfway through. So to just avoid this, save it as a .mp4. I haven't had any problems with this file type in Streamlabs so far. Once we have that background video exported and saved, we're going to go into Streamlabs and add it as a media source to our scene. You also wanna make sure that in the settings for that media source that the box for loop is checked. Now from here, we have two options for how to add our Just Chatting screen into this Be Right Back scene. The first option is going to be easier, but you need to be careful using this method. Go to your Be Right Back screen and select Add Source and then select Scene. From there, select the Just Chatting scene that you want to add and it will be added into your Be Right Back screen. Then you can size it down and position it over the screen in your video. Be careful when using this method because if you add any filters to the scene in your BRM back screen, it will also apply them to the original Just Chatting screen. So if you add any sort of color correction or change the opacity, the saturation, anything like that, it will apply to your original Just Chatting scene as well and it'll look a little weird. The benefit of using this method is that if you change anything in your Just Chatting screen, you add new sources, you change the color, you change the font type, it will automatically update in the scene in your BRM back screen. So that way it saves you a lot of time later. The second option you have is to first duplicate the scene that you're going to be adding. Right click the scene you want to add and select duplicate. Then add that duplicated scene as the source in your VR back screen and scale it down to match the screen in your video. From here, you can add effects and change colors with filters to make it better match your surroundings. And since we duplicated our scene first, this will only apply the effects to the duplicated scene while our actual Just Chatting scene remains untouched. While this method is safer because it allows you to apply filters without affecting your other scene, it may make more work for you in the future. If you change or update anything in your Just Chatting screen, you'll have to duplicate those updates into the duplicated scene as well. So that way the Be Right Back screen matches it. And that's it. 
Now you've got a cool BRI back screen that's uh, more customizable and cooler and more unique than something you're going to find in a pre-made overlay pack. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, pop them into the comments below and I'll be happy to answer anything I can. And if you found anything helpful or useful in this video, go ahead and subscribe and I hope to uh, post more videos like this in the future. I don't know what yet, but something cool and interesting. It better be cool and interesting in the future. Or you can come talk to me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash robodessert. Always happy to chat with folks live. And you can see the B-Ray back screen in action live, which is way cooler than just saying a little clip of it here. Thank you so much for hanging out. You have a great day. Happy streaming.